guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first of potentially many videos within this series. So we're calling it Studio Moments. Um, and there's really no prerequisites for this. I, sometimes I just want to put the camera, turn the camera on and just do what I usually do in that very significantly day to day. So I could be doing a quick oil piece in my sketchbook, which is what I'm doing now, or potentially embellishing um, a print that goes up on our Etsy store for sale. Uh, so I didn't really want to put too many rules and guidelines. I just wanted to do something that came naturally and perhaps have a chat, uh, most likely about art topics, but you know, nothing scripted. Um, in this particular case, I also wanted to sort of keep you company for this first four minutes or so because, and again, I apologize for this, I didn't place the camera correctly. And I guess you can get an idea of that um, how I paint. The book is usually like right underneath my face. So <laughs> trying to paint something and seeing it while pushing it further away from me is actually quite difficult. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. So I apologize for the first four minutes or so where uh, you may not see every single brush stroke that I put through. Uh, so today all I'm showing you is a quick sketch in my moleskin. This is um, paper that's not usually uh, well made for oil paint but I've primed it and more often than not I've primed it because I've painted something on it and it failed miserably and I hate pages in my sketchbook that are incomplete or that I've lost the passion for or that sort of break the I don't, I don't know if you'd call it the flow of the book, but you know, you'd be looking through you're like, I like that, I don't like that so much, and then you have this horrible thing in the middle. So I tend to prime those sheets and then paint over them. I don't really like to waste anything, so you won't see a lot of empty pages in my sketchbooks. So um, all I wanted to do was put together a bit of a oil painting of a sky um, that fit in, in the perfect sort of middle ground between abstract and realistic landscape uh, and I in this case I'm using um, just a photo reference and I'm trying to focus more on the values as opposed to the details now I'm quite new to oil painting and more often than not I fail miserably but I think in this case it wasn't too bad actually what another reason why I do this is to use up the paint on my palette so I'd be working on a bigger piece and I end up with all these leftover blobs of paint and then I just open a sketchbook and, and try and make something with them so I don't tend to pre-plan a lot of the colors I tend to try and just use what I have uh, in some case the colors don't really work together in other cases they do in this case, I think it worked. I'm actually quite happy with what I ended up making. Uh, yeah, still, my camera's not in the right place. I'm so sorry. Uh, just to give you an idea of the materials I'm using, so the sketchbook, the Moleskine, is actually a little pocket size. Um, the brush is a Jackson's Procrol brush, which is quite soft and allows for this really nice blending uh, but it's not great if you want to add texture so for that I'd recommend something different oh here we go finally did the right thing um, the paint is also a mixture I spoke a bit about the paint that I tend to use in my review 2019 um, material review video and generally speaking the brand that I choose uh, depends on what I'm trying to achieve so the Jackson's uh, paint has been used a lot in this particular painting and they're very they're not very but they're quite runny so I don't have to add any medium I can basically just slap them on uh, and without worrying too much about the texture uh, so I think predominantly most of 
the paint on there are Jackson's and the main colors that I tend to use that are always on my palette are the raw umber, ultramarine blue, buff titanium, uh, sometimes a sap green just to sort of give myself a bit of a shortcut to making green but then you may see some specialist colors there that change day to day so I've always I'm currently in love with um, Indian yellow which is a transparent almost orangey yellow that I love putting in to my landscapes I also have um, I think it's called an Australian Red. It's an Art Spectrum brand color, so that's an Australian oil paint. And that's part of, um, I think they're Australian color series. Uh, and then there's always, obviously, the Ultramarine White. That's my most used white. Um, sometimes I put in Mixing White, which has a greater ratio of zinc in it and it's not nearly as opaque and I want I forget what I put and I wonder why I'm not getting the why I need and that's usually why so I think you can sort of start to see it coming together now um, and yeah finally you can actually see the full page so great uh, so I'll leave it here for now I hope you enjoy the video and if you have any questions just let me know and hopefully I'll be able to shoot some more video in the studio um, the next couple of weeks. I have quite a few things to get through. Um, and thank you for your support as usual. And we'll chat later. Bye.